Hello people, how are you going here? And here today I have a Swedish 2 or 1940. And I quite like this design. This design also comes in the 1 and 5 or. And on this reverse it has a monogram of um, Gustav V. So here's the 5 there as well as then it has G. G and also an inverted G. Okay, so that's his initials there, and that's his crown. And it says Med Folket for Follows to Land it. And that just means with the people for the motherland. Okay, it's quite a beautiful design. Whoever designed this is quite a genius. Okay, and on the reverse, he has the three crowns of Sweden. And Twa Ure. Which just means two or, and then here is the mint mark. This coin was minted in Stockholm. Now, this coin is bronze, but between um, 1917 and 1920, and 1942 and 1950, they made of iron because of the First and Second World War reduced the availability of um, copper to be used as coins. And iron used as a coin is pretty inferior to copper, so corrodes quite easier. And it's actually a lot harder to strike. These crowns are beautiful. The, the design is very intricate. Let's see if we can get close up. As you can see, it's a little bit worn. Not bad, still collectible. And these were minted between 1909 and 1950. Beautiful. 1950 they changed the design to some shitty ass design which are not really worth collecting. Okay, the... It is um... Plain on the side, no milling. These coins were withdrawn from circulation in about 1972 because of inflation. And now the smallest coin in Sweden is the one krone. And in Australia it's worth about 20 cents. So that is my beautiful Swedish coin. Hope you like it. And let me know if you have one and what you think it is. Thank you. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye.